recycling line over here? Stick it on the left side. It's actually two o'clock in the morning and I was somehow able to convince my brother that we needed to get to work on his Cherokee and uh, it needs new engine and transmission mounts. My brother doesn't even know how to change a tire. So it's gonna be fun. There's the Wrangler in the backyard. It just makes me a mechanic, right? You just gotta get the black stuff black on. <laughs> How much progress have you made so far? Barely any. I haven't got a single thing like properly you've experienced off. dirt in your eye. Oh yeah, that's dust horrible. in your eye. Yeah. Um, hitting your knuckles. Mm. That wasn't too bad. The you dust in the eye was yet. the worst. <laughs> you haven't had I dust haven't, in your I eye. didn't hit it too hard. Ooh, that sounds scary. What time is it now? Like seven o'clock? Almost. It's like six fifty-five. It's almost like 6.55. I don't know what time it is. It's let's just say it's almost seven o'clock. It's the morning. Preston had a great idea last night. Spend the whole night just working on Jeeps. It's a great idea, Preston. Spend the whole night. Catching the camera. Do -do. Whatever happened to predictability? This song is copyright and you can't sing it here. <laughs> that didn't rhyme at all. Yeah, I know. So the, the, the song doesn't rhyme either. Most songs don't rhyme. It didn't even go. Anyway, the Cherokee. Well, I didn't know how to make it Cherokee. go. Cherokee. The Cherokee needs new motor mounts. Oh, look. Dude, I look like I was in the military or something. I'm like... The Cherokee needs new perfect. motor and transmission mounts. And the Jeep over here... I'm in the process of rewiring the PCM finally. But I'm a little concerned because the plug is... The wires are not the exact same as the other Jeep, um, the original one. So I'm not sure how well this is going to go. Not to mess, mention just how big of a mess it is. Of course at the end I'm going to tape all this up tight. But oh, it looks terrible. A couple wires got skipped in the whole process. So I'm really not sure how it's going to work. But I'm, a, I'm about to go find out. Well, it started immediately, which is great, but it sounds a little off, and I don't know why. I retract that statement. I actually think it worked. I think the rewire worked. Sick. Sick. Working Jeep freeze frame. This is actually the first time Preston's ever worked on a vehicle, ever. I kind of just tossed him under and was like, just figure it out, you can do it. Chris fix it. You watch those videos and figure everything out. He did good I though, like I hardly helped him and he just kind of figured it out. He also learned how much of a struggle it is and <laughs> came up with a few names for the Jeep. <laughs> a few possible names. But then he told me he's actually not allowed to say those. Did you put the old bolt on? I don't know what that, was I not supposed to? No, it came with a new bolt. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> you didn't? My bad. You want to unscrew okay, that? I didn't tell you. Because I've spent like the last like 30 minutes you making sure it's like super tight. Uh, flashbacks to my old Jeep. That's how bad they were. What do you think, Preston? First experience working on a Jeep? Mountain Dew. That's what, we drank that's a lot of I Mountain Dew. <laughs> Everything is Mountain Dew. I'm going to go get uh, chorizo if you want papas. Go make it there, or you can come with me. Then just press and get it. Get the beef one. I've never had the beef one. Or should we just grab one of each? I kind of want to try the beef, just in case. The cart is just going. Keep going. And then that cart over there, the that one. I don't know who tossed their cart, but oh my god, is it going into the road? Yeah, and the other chose the way of... Oh, that was recording. Yeah, if you just kick your carts off like that, instead of just putting it in the bin... I'm not allowed to say that word. <laughs> but that's what you are. If you don't have the good chorizo, use a little bit of red pepper, a little bit of garlic powder. We ain't got no more to put in the pan. 
It'll make the burrito amazing. 3.46, after we ate the burritos, we uh, fell asleep. I fell asleep, that's for sure, I was, I was out. Preston actually fell asleep like on the couch, just laying there and he just like was holding his food in his plate and he's just like, Anyway, I just took a nap and I slept, and uh, I still need to edit tomorrow's video. Um, I haven't actually touched it, so that's something I need to edit that one real fast, and then I actually don't know what to do after that. I still need to wrap up the Jeep, get a couple things done. I'm going to go make coffee and edit this video, and I will come back. Guess who's here? Hey, guess who's here? Kai, you're gonna scare it off. Kai, don't scare it. You're, Kai, you're, you're twice her. You're like ten times her size, five times her size. All I can think of when you say that is the ba da ba da 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 da. Tequila. <laughs> No, no, that's not a toy. It's a microphone. You being a good boy, Kai? So, my aunt actually just found this dog at a Taco Bell, right? Mm -hmm. It was at a Taco Bell, just stumbling around. So they took it home, and it's our new puppy cousin. The dogs were outside, and I had Kai on his leash because he'll jump over the fence otherwise. Well, he was barking like crazy at the other dog, and I figured, you know, he, he's just going to stay in the yard if I let him off the leash. He's, he's going to play with the puppy or whatever. I let him off the leash and immediately just right over the fence, just straight up. Uh, the really funny thing about that though is that Kai won't run away. Like he has no intention of leaving. He just likes to run around the neighborhood and harass the other dogs. He's just chilling in the front yard. This is our front yard and he's just sitting right there. Come on, let's go. Let's go inside. Come on. Kai, I have video proof. He'll literally sit at this door and just... I'm not worried that he'll run away, I'm just worried that he'll get hit by a car again. He's got hit by a car before and survived. It's crazy.